Over the last few years, sports websites have made multimedia a key component of their sports coverage. In this podcast, I will go over a few important tips and suggestions about how you can use successful multimedia into your sports coverage. There are a few very common examples of multimedia. Video, podcasts, photo slideshows, they're among the most common used in sports coverage. To be successful, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, with video and audio, you want to make sure you're getting the best sound quality. In certain situations, like a press conference, there may be an audio box for you to plug your camera into directly. This will transmit the sound directly from the microphones at the press conference into your camera. However, if you're doing a stand-up shot with a source, you'll want to use an external microphone. This will improve quality over the built-in microphone in the camera. Make sure you hold on to the microphone during the interview process. Place it about six inches or so from the source's face and below their mouth. This will ensure the best recorded audio possible. Also, plug headphones into the camera and listen to them during the interview. You want to make sure that the audio is coming through clearly and correctly while you still have the source there. Lighting is another key. Make sure for photos and video that you're shooting in an environment conducive to recording good images. If possible, change your location to ensure that the images and the video will be clearer. When shooting video, if possible, use a tripod. Shaky video will be a turnoff to consumers of your multimedia journalism. You want to make sure that the product you produce is professional looking. Finally, you want to make sure that you have an attentive audience for your video, podcast, slideshow, or other multimedia piece. To do this, make sure the piece you're producing is not too long. I suggest multimedia to be about two or two and a half minutes long. Here, you have enough time to tell your story, but you don't drag on too long or lose the attention of your audience. By using these suggestions, you will be able to put together a more professional multimedia presentation for your audience.